Welcome to my channel. Here on my channel, I help you guys heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. How do I do that? From a physical standpoint, I am an integrative nutritionist. I have my master's degree in nutrition and dietetics and education. I specialize in women's health, hormonal balancing, weight and stress management, and gut health. From a spiritual perspective, I'm a natural born psychic medium, meaning I was born with my gifts. So I help you connect with your past loved ones, your guardian angels, archangels, and divine spirit guides um, to deliver messages of healing, love, and light, and to provide guidance wherever you are on your journey in the present moment. All right. So that's what I do on my channel. If you like that, if you're, if you're vibing with my energy, comment vibing. I'm vibing. All right, um, but every day I do a daily energy check-in or a daily tarot scope. Um, so hang out. We have some fun. We're going to check in what the energy is. But if you guys are vibing with me, comment vibing. Excuse me. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I am big on interaction, guys. Big on interaction, so let's keep the conversation going. <laughs> awesome. So, um, one quick thing. We do have a 30K like goal every single morning. We usually hit it in like 10 minutes, okay? So you're part of the team now. So tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live if you're watching this on TikTok Live. Um, so we hit our 30K goal. So tap, 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 let's go. We've got over 100 people in here, so we could very easily do it. All right. Oh, I love it. I'm glad you guys are vibing. Cool. So who is ready for the collective reading? Who is ready? Who's ready for the collective reading? Comment ready. Comment ready. Who is ready? Oh, as you guys are commenting ready, I'm going to grab my tea. <coughs> Okay. All right, guys. Where's my coaster? <clears throat> guys, look how committed I am. <laughs> I am so committed to spirituality and astrology, y'all. My, even my coasters have moons on them. Oh, anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> All right, so let's do it. Um, you guys, so yesterday I, um, I spent like two hours organizing my crystals, my decks and everything. So now they're all, all nicely um, available for me to grab. So you're going to see some decks that you guys haven't seen from me in a long time. If you're new, you haven't seen them already, but um, this is my, what is it? Healing energy Oracle deck. Okay. So I'm going to start with Oracle. This has um, an affirmation on, or um, an Oracle message. All right. So let's see. And this is, I, I associate these with chakras. So I'm going to tell you what chakras um, are going to be the point of focus for today. So let's see. Good morning. Hey, Megan. Welcome to the potty. Welcome to the potty. Clearly this deck is huge. So I'm just trying to shuffle it. Well, I may just split it to be honest. How many is this? Okay. It's two. So we'll take, we'll take two. All right. So first we have, we have divine fruit and positive thinking. So we have, um, crown chakra and then we have sacral chakra. Okay. Sacral chakra, um, is your divine feminine. It governs your reproductive system. Okay. Your hormones, also, um, your uh, center of creativity where you birth actual babies and new projects. It's also how you connect with your emotions and connect with your body and connect with other people emotionally, okay? Especially through physical touch. All right, so that is what it looks like, the divine fruit. So this card says, as I work to improve and free myself, I strengthen my foundations. My intellect is light, my heart is warmth, and my soul is strength. I am nurtured by the divine sun. 
the fruit I bear reflects my inner light. Okay, so if you guys are trying to get pregnant, if you guys are pregnant, if you guys are trying to create a new project, start um, a new passion, a new career, um, uh, writing a book, a blog, I don't know, whatever it is. Making sure you put yourself into that as much as you can, put a part of yourself, put your energy, your light into your project making sure it's tied into your purpose, why you came to this earth, okay? That is extremely important. So creativity may be heightened today, right? And then we have positive thinking. My life is full of small patches of light. I direct my thoughts to that which brings me well-being. I place what is weighty for me into the hands of the universe. Little by little, the light awakens in my being and I find serenity. So I feel like there might be some things weighing you guys down. I mean, today is Monday, so Monday is ruled by the moon. So you may be feeling a little more emotional today. Um, especially uh, because the moon is in Taurus. Um, Taurus isn't super emotional and Taurus will look for comfort in material things. So today, just be careful not to look for external validation. Try not to find comfort in materialism. All right, this is a, a this is the energy of really going within and finding comfort and peace within. So today would be a great day to meditate, to connect with water, um, to really ground your energy going outside and po writing positive affirmations as well. Um, this is a technique I use with a lot of clients, one-on-one uh, -on -one clients. Um, write down every negative thought you have about yourself, like in your journal. And then once you're done, flip the script, meaning turn the negative thought into a positive, make it a positive statement. And there you have your own customized positive affirmations, okay? Um, but think positively about what you're trying to create is the message here for today. All right, now this isn't like taking action. This is shifting your mindset to energy. Okay. So if you guys have a, like, a, if you've been getting a creative idea repetitively, clear that your divine spirit guides telling you like, let's get going on it. Um, but think positively. So think positive about the outcome. Don't think negative. All right. But let's pop into the tarot. Who's ready for tarot? Tell me in the comments. Comment ready. Comment ready. Let's do it. All right. So let's see. God's first universe to mind all things. What is the overall energy for today? What do we need to know about today? That's way too many. <laughs> One at a time, please. Sorry. My hands are like so cold, you guys. I'm like. One at a time. Thank you. Okay. Huh. Is he devil? The devil. So that's, we've got heavy Capricorn energy. Capricorn um, is associated with the root chakra. Seven of swords in the reverse. And one card flipped. Ace of swords. Ace of Wands. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. We've got two aces, guys. So new beginnings, new beginnings, fresh starts on deck for today. All right, so, and the Ace of Cups in the reverse below it. Wow, three aces, holy shit. All right, so the Ace of Wands, clearly sacral chakra, your creativity is a point of focus. The Ace of Wands is an inspired idea, okay? A passion project, a new creative endeavor. Um, again, a new career path, a new, a new, um, Something you want to learn about that's different. Um, just whatever. It's a creative spark that the universe is handing to you to go after. Okay, this would be an idea you cannot let go of. Like you think about it, you forget it, you forget for a while, then it comes right back. And then you forget about it and it comes right back. Okay, but I feel like this is happening more repetitively for you guys. This would be probably surrounding um, a goal or an intention that you've set around the new moon in Aries, which would have been March 31st, April 1st. All right, but... Overall energy, the devil, the seven of swords in the reverse, and then the ace of swords. Um, I feel like you guys are realizing what habits you have that you need to break to bring this idea to fruition. Okay, so this could be a lot of self-doubt. 
Okay, so the Seven of Swords is being honest with yourself, okay? It's also accepting help when needed, okay? So <clears throat> if you're needing help from a friend, a family member, um, maybe you're needing to seek help regarding how to learn something new, maybe going back to school, whatever. But um, I feel like just the general energy for today is getting very clear on what the unhealthy habits that are kind of preventing you from moving forward. I'm getting a lot of self-doubt vibes, a lot of self-doubt um, that really kind of stole time from you. I feel like you guys feel like you you wasted time or something stole too much of your time. Now, this could be like binge watching Netflix. This could be telling yourself you can't do something. This could be fixation on another person, big time, because this is an unhealthy tie. Some of you, um, oh my gosh, uh, the moon is trying Pluto and Capricorn today. So there may be some secrets coming out today regarding challenging relationships. The secrets are not negative though. The secrets are more helpful than hurtful. All right, so if there's someone that you had an unhealthy attachment to um, or a situation, there a lot of things may come to light today. Um, what I'm hearing too is uh, it's not as bad as it seems. Some of you tend to make people or situations seem worse than they actually are because you're so used to negative thinking. That's why I think we got the positive thinking card as well to help you kind of shift your mindset a little bit. Yeah, I feel like there's a clarity about this like devil in your life. Like if this is a person, this would be someone that um, could have been very selfish, very, very focused on like a physical interaction with you um, rather than an emotional connection. Um, or there just could have been a lot of physical interaction with the person. Uh, this could be uh, something to do with addiction. Okay, could be something with addiction um, or an obsession or just an unhealthy attachment to a way of doing things. Okay, again, procrastination, binge watching things, maybe um, uh, being too fo Okay, here's another thing. Some of you are way too focused on how much money you're going to make from this project that you want to do, this new career path versus how it's going to impact humanity how it's going to impact people. Some of you are way too focused on the money part. All right, this is saying, get clear on why you wanna do this. The clarity, the Ace of Swords, is you're doing this because you're passionate about it, not because it's gonna make you a shit ton of money. The money is a perk of you getting to do what you love, okay? The money is not why you do what you love. You get what I'm saying? You get to do what you love and then a benefit of that is, is making money. All right, so some of you need to like drop the whole, oh my God, I need to make so much money. You're never gonna make money like that because you're too fixated on it. Okay, if you want money so badly, you're gonna cause resistance to the, manifest the manifesting of money, okay? If you fixate on it, it's never gonna come. All right. Is that resonating for you guys? <laughs> is that resonating? All right, um, this is called my secret garden deck. It's a very tiny little affirmation deck that I, ooh, that I got in Sedona. Huh. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. So the first thing, the first thing I heard was if a person comes and apologizes to you, offer forgiveness, don't like bite their head off. Someone who hurt you, this devil energy in your life maybe, um, if secrets are revealed today, if information comes to light from this person that brings a lot of clarity as to why they acted the way they did, approach it with forgiveness, not anger or resentment. Um, if the, you're not dealing with a person, this is forgiving yourself. Forgive yourself for the for the unhealthy habits. Forgive yourself for the unhealthy attachments, the trauma bonds, the addictions, the obsessions, things that stole your time, stole your energy, that weren't worth your time or energy, okay? Um, because there's a lot of clarity coming in today and forgiveness, um, embodying the energy of forgiveness is going to clear the way for abundance to come through. Anger and resentment is only going to block abundance. And abundance is not just money. It's love, it's peace, it's harmony, it's um, 
feeling safe to express yourself. It's self-acceptance. Abundance comes in so many different forms. All right. And then on the bottom, we have dare. Take a risk and fly. All right. So maybe some of you are addicted to um, fear. Some of you are addicted to fear. And maybe that's coming to light for you also. But anyway, where'd the deck go? There we go. All right. So who's ready for potential challenges for today? Potential challenges. Tell us, comment ready, comment ready. Guys, we're almost to 30K likes. Keep tapping the screen, we're so close. Tap, 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 guys, tap, 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 we're so close. All right, here we go. God's first universe, divine, creative all things. What are potential? Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Potential challenges for today. Page of Swords in the reverse. The Hanged Man. Six of Pentacles. Um, Knight of Swords. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Sorry, this is a new deck for me, so. Okay. All right, so with the, uh, the, the, the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is taking quick action, okay? Taking hasty action without thinking through all the steps, without having the proper energy, okay? Um, so with the Page of Swords in the reverse, the Hanged Man in the reverse, and then the Six of Pentacles. Um, okay. Some of you want to take, oh, we hit 30K. Oh, let's go for 50. You guys are so awesome. Let's go for 50K. Keep tapping the screen. Let's do it. All right. I appreciate all the support, you guys. Um, I feel like you guys want to take action so badly, but you don't have all the tools yet. You don't have all the resources. Like you don't, it's frustrating. It's like you, you want to get going. All right, you want to get moving on whatever this idea is, but it's like you're, you don't have all the resources yet, all right? Um, or you don't have the energy just yet. Um, you haven't accepted that you need to do things differently, speak differently, communicate differently, learn something new, all right? For others, if a person is coming to talk to you, they're not going to convey what you want them to say. Um, I, I feel like you're not going to receive the message that you think you're 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 not going to receive the message that you want to receive. I feel like the message is going to be very different than what you're expecting. But I want to clarify that a little bit. Okay. We have death in the reverse. Okay. Okay, clearing out old ways of thinking, lack mental, lack mindset. Mm -hmm. High priestess. Okay. Justice. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. Some of you guys are resisting change big time. All right. Death in the reverse. Six of swords. And then high priestess in the reverse. You guys have to move on from outdated ways of thinking. That's the challenge today. It's all in the mind. And t guys, today it's mon moon day. Monday's ruled by the moon. Very emotional. Okay, very hard to be logical today. But death in the reverse is resisting change. Um, <sighs> big time. Okay. Now this could be um, a relationship change, a job change. 
probably because of fear, because of the unknown. You don't know where you're going. Here's the Six of Swords. This is moving on to calmer shores, moving on to calmer waters. Those are um, uh, crows, okay? Crows pulling the boat. Crows represent adaptability, okay? Also changing the way you communicate, changing the way that you think. High Priestess in the reverse. I feel like what whatever information comes out today, it's... Like, it's just like you have to move on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to move on. Uh, there, there's no reason for you to hold on or stick around to something, to some, just to a person, to a situation, to an outdated way of thinking. Like, uh, this, this hesitation on moving on is preventing your transformation. It's preventing your rebirth, okay? It's preventing what is meant for you to come in because you're holding on so tight. Um, yeah, karma's trying to, to bring in your... The universe is trying to bring in your good karma, but you're just hold, you're holding on to the past too tightly. A wish that maybe was never meant to be granted. Okay. Challenge, challenge today. Yeah. Be present. Use the hours. Don't count them. Okay, so this is giving me procrastination vibes again um, as a potential challenge, but also you guys being too in the past or too in the future. Okay, not being in the now, in the present moment. All right. Yeah, it's like maybe there's too much fixation on like something that happened in the past, but or just fixation on you not getting the result that you want right now. All right. So being present is difficult. Uh, maybe not not constantly um, making someone pay for their mistakes. And not punishing yourself for yours. Stop punishing yourself. That's not doing you any any good. It's not doing you any favors. Also. Also, if you guys are not communicating what you want to say, you're not going to get it back. So if there are things you need to say to someone, please say them because then you're going to get the same energy back. All right. Um, now, who's ready for guidance? Guidance from our spirit guides. Who is ready for guidance? Comment ready. Comment ready. All right, we're going to leave this here. Yeah, today, you guys, today is a day of, like, letting go, letting go. Um, we, are in the first, we, we are in the first quarter moon phase this week. So the first quarter phase of the moon in the lunar cycle tends to be the most challenging. Um, it's 11-11 right now, actually, too, um, so confirmation. But um, the first quarter moon is the phase of the lunar cycle right after the new moon, but it's the time when our... Our tenacity, our dedication, our commitment to our goals is tested, okay? Um, it's a time where things that maybe are kind of blocking our goals are going to be shown to us or removed, and that can be painful sometimes, so just like, just a heads up, <laughs> All right? But let's see. God's Source Universe, my girl, things. What, what is the guidance for us today? How can we handle today? How can we handle today? What's the guidance? King of Cups reversed. Okay. One at a time. Three of Cups. Okay. Thank you. Page of Wands reversed. Seven of Cups. 
<laughs> decide decide what goal you want to go after or make the choice to just do it. <laughs> Seven of Cups reversed. Just make a fucking choice. You're either going to stay where you're at and continue to feel the way you feel or you're going to move forward. Okay. So make the decision. Choose you. Choose you. Okay. Um, and make a logical choice. Make the logical choice. Make the choice that benefits only you, nobody else. All right. Take everyone else out of the equation. All right. We have the King of Swords reversed, the Three of Cups, and then the Page of Wands reversed. Don't worry so much about, okay, the, fo the the guidance for today, is to connect with friends or family that help you feel grounded, that help you feel grounded. All right, King of Okay. Some of you were dealing with a, um, a Gemini Libra Aquarius with this King of, sorry, King of Swords, not King of Cups, King of Swords. Um, some of you decided to walk away from someone. It could have been a Gemini Libra Aquarius, doesn't have to be. It could have been like a, a narcissistic person, could have been very harsh with their words, harsh communicator, um, very uh, just manipulative in their speech okay um or just very mean verbally ver i would even say verbally abusive um and i feel like your family or your friends helped you walk away from this person celebrate that not working celebrate that not working realize how much happier look at the connections you're you're developing because you walked away from someone who was just not meant for you Walking away from this like very verbally abusive energy, all right? Um, also, a lot of you, I feel like, are working on your communication skills. Um, some of you had a very harsh way of speaking or just like said things that people maybe misinterpreted as being mean or cruel, but you didn't mean it that way. I feel like you're in, you're infusing more compassion, more awareness in how you communicate. Even if you didn't communicate harshly, I'm just saying you're more mindful of what you say and how you communicate with others. And now maybe people are communicating more kindly to you or you're encountering people who have better communication skills because you're working on that as well. And rather than telling yourself that you, that rather than telling yourself that you're afraid of this new beginning or that you can't do it, tell yourself that you can, tell yourself that you're supported, um, connect with people that support your idea. Okay. But you have to make the choice first, the seven of cups energy in the reverse. You've got to make a choice. You've got to make a move. You can't just sit there and, and expect change. What else? What? Guidance, 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 guidance. Ten of swords, nine of swords. Guys, this is all mental energy. This is all in the head. Queen of wands. Um, you got to end the cycle of lacking confidence. You got to embrace who you are, every aspect. Queen of wands, she loves every single aspect of herself. Again, this is sacral chakra energy. Um, loving your body, loving your life, being confident that you can do this. This new, this inspired idea, this new career, this new pathway of learning, this new business, whatever the hell you're doing, new book, whatever it is, all right? You can do it. You are manifesting it, okay? But this toxic cycle of you giving into fear and anxiety, it's got to end. It's got to end, all right? celebrate this opportunity. You have the ability to create a whole new life of your, for yourself. All right. Um, 
Also, uh, guidance here too is, again, to connect with soul family. Connect with people that are spiritually aligned with you, that accept who they are, that showcase who they are, that are not afraid to show who they are. So you can start embodying that. You want So tell me in the comments, guys, who wants to... Who wants to completely embrace and show the world who they are? Do you want to show the world who you are unapologetically? Let me know in the comments. Yes, we hit 50K. Let's go for 70. Tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. Tap the screen, guys. Keep going. Do you want to show the world who you truly are unapologetically? And I mean all of you, your spiritual beliefs, how you dress, makeup, like maybe some of you are changing your hair, changing the way you do your makeup, your your clothes maybe, you're just kind of like, you know, like just doing things a little different. Okay, so what this is, what the guidance is saying is you want to end this cycle of not accepting yourself. This was the theme for the weekly reading. Guys, if you missed the weekly reading yesterday, it's on my YouTube channel. Oh my God, it was all about self-acceptance, okay? All right, so the guidance is if you're still in your head a lot about embracing who you are and, and showing it outwardly, connect with a person, a group, who is not afraid to be who they are. Okay. Um, I mean, not to like put myself on a pedestal and I'm not, but I do that. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about me personally. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck. I could care less. My family, they're all born again Christians, which is fine. No judgment, nothing against Christianity. Um, but they think my soul is going to burn in hell because I'm a medium and I'm a tarot reader. But I don't give a flying fuck. I go to family parties and I do my thing and I don't fucking care. I go to crazy lunar fairs. I dress up in costume. I don't give a crap. Like I really, really don't. Um, and honestly, you guys, the more that I started doing that, the more that I started doing that, the less haters I got the less trolls I experience. Like, yeah, every now and again, I experience a troll, but I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. If someone said to me, like, if I was wearing, like, a, I wear witchy costumes when I go to, uh, like, spiritual fairs because I like getting dressed up. If someone said some shit to me, like, oh, haha, ha, nice costume, I'd be like, yeah, it is. Fuck you. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't fucking care. I'm happy. I'm happy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? And listen, my family may think I'm going to burn in hell, but they don't say shit to me anymore because I stand firm in who the fuck I am. Unapologetically. I will never apologize for who I am and neither should you. Neither should you. Okay. Um, but it's just, you've got to get out of your own head. And I think what your guides are trying to tell you is if you start to follow someone or a group of people, or a few people, a, flu a few influencers, whatever, not just me, I'm just using myself as an example, but you seeing it is going to help get you out of that energy, okay, um, and help you embrace who you are. Yeah, my, my family thinks I'm I'm nuts. They, they think I'm like a Satan worshiper, that I conjure up demons and all this shit. I don't do any of that, like not even close. <laughs> I, I legit still pray to God. I still have some Christian beliefs, but not, I like, I don't read the Bible religiously or anything like that. I think there's much more to the world. Oh, my dad, it, my dad does not bother me about it. My dad is cool. My dad is so laid back. He could give a shit. As long as I'm happy and I'm not like hurting anyone, he's like, totally fine. <laughs> he's like, it's not like you got like, a you know, a million piercings and tattoos and whatever. Not that that matters. Not That doesn't matter at all. Uh, but my dad is totally cool with it. But the rest of my family, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> They're all Bible thumpers, which is fine, which is fine. Hey, more power to you. If it brings you comfort and you're not hurting anybody, who cares? I don't care if you're freaking Buddhist, Jewish, whatever you are, whatever you believe. As long as you're all love and light and you don't want to hurt anyone, why the fuck do I care? Do your thing, man. Doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. If you embody that Queen of Wands energy, I'll support you. Go for it. All right. Um, 
So I've never used this deck on a TikTok live. So I think I'm going to use it with you guys to end the reading. Okay. This is called the Fairy Blessings Oracle, right? Fairy Blessings Oracle. All right. So the, the biggest reason I got this deck is because the illustrations on it are so beautiful. But it's all about what blessing you're going to receive today from the universe. Okay. So who's ready to see what blessing you're going to receive today? This is a very Celtic deck. All right. It's really, really beautiful. I love this deck. It's so pretty. Um, I haven't touched it in months, like probably like six months until yesterday I was meditating at night and my guides were like, grab the green deck. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I almost ate the string on my tea bag. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> clearly I'm just myself with you guys. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. And hey, if you do believe in the Fae, cool. Totally cool. If you don't, that's okay. I'm just, for just the whole entire collective, I'm going to say this is the blessing from the universe. A blessing from the universe today, but let's do it. You guys were so close to 70K likes. Keep tapping the screen. Oh, shit. This deck is huge, so, and my hands are not that big. So we're going to see. We'll do two. All right. So the first card we got is a blessing of the white heart. So I'm going to show you guys the, the, um, the illustrations. So pretty, right? So pretty. All right, so that is called a blessing of the white heart, but it's heart, H-A-R-T, not H-E-A-R-T. All right, but let's see. Um, all right. Okay, so this is a gift of integrity and recognition of the sacred. All right, so here we go. A gift of the other world to keep what is sacred, sacred, to be given the gift of great integrity in times without such things held dear. To see the white heart is a magical event, the legendary creature of the deepest, most ancient part of the green world. The white heart is a fairy creature, a real being, and a sign from uh, the universe to you that you must keep true to what is sacred. When you receive this gift, it may seem like a burden, but do not feel this way for it. For it is that you are recognized as a person of high integrity and that to keep this is most important at this time. By keeping your integrity, by being true to what is sacred and precious to the universe, you will be blessed with easy confidence in your own doings. I was talking about that. A sense of rightness about all that comes and a simple recognition of those who are not in integrity. The White Heart ask, uh, asks us to recall and be blessed with the gift of seeking what it is you wish to know, seeking your own true self. It gives you the keys to becoming who you are meant to be. Let there be blessings of the pure hearted of stripping away what holds you back. Devil energy. And let there be graceful, beautiful movement into a more poetic and mythic understanding of the world. Let the deep peace of the wild heart of the forest be yours, friend, for you have seen the white heart, and so there will be a calling to the sacred and a blessing for those who follow that pure, magical, and so very sacred call. Oh, I just got chills. Wow. So what did I say? Maintain your integrity even in the face of people who do not agree with what you do. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And whoever or whatever has been holding you back. Goodbye. See you later. You're out of here. All right. We got one other card, you guys. We got one other card. Um, a blessing of the unseely. So this, this imagery is a little bit different. A little bit darker. So we have white and black. So we have duality here. White and black. Duality. All right. So 
Aren't, do you guys like these cards? I'm, I'm so obsessed with, with the illustrations. They're so pretty. Um, let's see. All right. A blessing of the unseelie. A gift of following your true heart from the worthy rebels of the unseelie court. The gift of this gift is a rebellious one, the one who defies and who does not go with the flow, meaning go with the norm. <laughs> In fairy lore, the unseelie are sometimes considered dangerous, but their blessing is this. You are not born to appease and to concede, to give away always before forces that consume and control. You are born, oh my God, wow, I'm gonna cry. You are born to be free, to decide who you were meant to be for yourself. Queen of Wands energy. And this gift and blessing to you is that reminder. So this means that in this moment, there is something you must say no to. Say no to the forces that would ask you to do something that you feel is wrong. That there's the integrity piece. Say no to going along, to getting along, and stand alone if you must in the renegade nature of uh, the unseely. It is a strange gift, a weird blessing to be sure, but in its way, it is... It's energy of rebellion and courage and defiance that is not born out of any desire to be unkind. In fact, it is born out of the desire to be kind to your truest self and to create space and room for you to breathe and be free. With this blessing, you will say no, you will take a stand, you will find a new path and be true to yourself. And while you may be called disruptive or difficult, know that these labels are only given when you can no longer be controlled. Oh, when the universe blesses you in your holy work, know that you are only being true to your own self and walking your own path. Blessings of the universe, you holy rascals. You guys, did this not confirm everything I read in the tarot? Can you guys just confirm that for me in the comments? Did the did the fairy card did the fairy blessing cards confirm what I read in the tarot? What the fuck? What the actual f, dude? Wow. <laughs> you guys, sometimes I surprise myself. Sometimes I surprise myself, y'all. Okay. Wow. You guys, how beautiful. How friggin' beautiful is this? Whoa. Um, so today, if you come, if someone comes in your path, if something from your past that you were, or something holds you back from being who you truly are, say no, say no to it and say yes to this new path. Say yes to this new path because it's a beautiful one. It's a beautiful one. 70K, hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, I'll pick one more secret garden card. Opportunity, baby. Opportunity. There, there's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times. There's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times. Well, I guess today is the day because this reading is for today. Wow. So you guys, that was the um, the collective reading for today, the collective taroscope for today. Um, I don't have time for uh, one question readings this morning, um, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know I am offering 10% off my private tarot readings and my Reiki sessions. So if you guys would like to book a private tarot reading with me, um, I do weekly forecast readings, guys. So if you would like a reading like this, but for yourself, like a weekly forecast, so you personally know what to expect for the week ahead, the link is in my TikTok bio. And yes, you get 10% off. Um, the code is moon10, M-O-O-N-1-0. All right. So if you would like a reading for next week, um, you'd have to book like within the next two days or so. Um, also, I am doing private intuition activation sessions. So 
Is anyone interested in um, having their intuition activated, meaning having a stronger connection with your intuition so you trust it the first time? Anyone interested in that? Having support and trust in building your connection with your intuition? Let me know in the comments. Anyone wanting to strengthen their connection with their intuition and have like a, a personalized session for that? Okay, cool. Okay, perfect. So if you guys are, if you guys are interested in a, I just started offering this yesterday. This is a brand new thing for me. So I, I'm doing personalized intuition activations. All right. So they are recorded sessions. So once you receive it, you can reuse the session, the session. So let's say in six months, you want to, you want to rebuild your connection with your intuition. You can use the session again, so you can reuse it. Okay. So if you guys are interested in that, um, there is an energy exchange. Um, the session will include Reiki, a sound bath and, um, crystal recommendations as well. Uh, so the energy exchange is $77. All right. 77. So you can pay that through Cash App or PayPal. The link is in my TikTok bio. And again, guys, you can reuse it, okay? You don't have to pay for a new one every time you need to connect with your intuition. All right, um, so you can pay the 77 through Cash App or PayPal. If you need Venmo, please tell me in the comments and I will give you my Venmo. All right, that is for the personalized intuition activation. If you're paying um, on any of those platforms, please put your email address so I know where to send it. All right, please let me put, please put your email in the memo, PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo so I know where to send it to. Okay, does anyone need Venmo for that? Anyone need Venmo for that? Anyone have questions about the intuition activation? Or is anyone gonna get it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Venmo, okay. Angelica, I, I do love readings, yes. There we go. So there's my Venmo guys, Jacqueline-Jacobson. Um, Monica, it's re it's pre-recorded. So it's personalized for you on your energy, but it's not a live session. Mythical Samantha, I do love readings. Yes, the link is in my bio. Anyone else have questions about the intuition activation sessions, guys? Any questions I can answer for you? Um, or any questions around my other services, what I do? 